Where? Right. Hand. Where's your hand? That was incredible. Thank you. There are a lot of people here. Wow. Wow. Thank you for coming out. That's so cool. That's so cool. Where can I watch that? Is that on anywhere I can? YouTube? What is it called? It should be called Jared. Uh, that was really impressive. I, it, rarely do I ever see stuff and I can kind of get chills and goosebumps, especially yeah. when it's my big ugly mug. But that gave me chills. I was like, ooh, I'm cool. So, well done. Thank you. Uh, welcome. That is a, there's a lot of people. There are a lot of persons. I'm not an English teacher, so I should probably learn how to get that right. Um, welcome to Chicago, for those we haven't seen yet. And for those who I've already run into, I see a bunch of you guys. Um, hello. I'm Jared, I'll be your moderator. Uh, are we doing the one-sided questions or the two-sided? One. Just one? It's always so fun to do this thing. I'll just try it this way. You've got to look at this side, too, when you go. All right, I'll, I will look at that side, but I'm going to do this first. Uh, let's start. I, I, hello. I love the shameless advertising, by the way. Watch Supernatural, 9 p.m. Thursday, CW11. It's the best. Thank you. Thank you. I will tell her. I'll, I'll... Anyway, is this thing on? I think it's a jump to use it. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, here's my question. Your dogs, Harley and Sadie. That's not a question, that's a statement. <laughs> I told you my mom's an English teacher, right? I know, and I almost was one too, but you see what happened. They were there. Um, I would like to know a story about them and Jensen. Them and Jensen. Your favorite story about them and Jensen. Tell okay, I've got, a, I got a kind of, just a recent one. Uh, Jensen, and, and, uh, Jensen and a buddy of ours and myself, um, I guess we were watching football one Sunday and so, you know, we were barbecuing, we probably had some wine. We had some wine. Uh, <laughs> and whatever else happened that night. But um, I get an email, I'm laying down to go to bed, it's probably like two or three in the morning, I have to work the next day. And I get like a bring. I was like, who is sending me an email? And so I look at my little thing, and it's a picture of Jensen, like, uh, and then Harley and Sadie's faces. I guess he, I guess they followed him because we now live together. So I guess they followed him downstairs. They smelled a sucker. They were like, he's not, he's not awake enough to like not let us on the bed. And so I guess he passed out. And so there go like Harley and Sadie jumping out of the bed with their big dog lips all over the place. It's a nice picture, though. I'll have to find it and, and sneak it onto YouTube or something. <laughs> My three dogs. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, like, D-A-W-G. <laughs> Don't tell Jensen. <laughs> thank you so much for thank, joining us, Jared. Thank you. I love this. <laughs> Hi. I'm Jared. Now that's a question. If uh, if I could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, you know what? The the classic answer is to fly. But you can kind of fly in a plane, anyways. I'd love to be able to. I don't know what it would be called. Like water powers. Like I'd love to be able to swim well, way deep in the ocean, point. like the Marianas Trench, and see what's going on down there. There are bound to be some like crazy, huge fish. Aquaman, I guess that's it. <laughs> Aquaman, without like the green scale orange tights. I don't know if, if that like was a, was a requirement, maybe I'd rethink it, but I'd love to have Aquaman powers. Thank you. Thank you. There are a lot of people. That's so cool. Hi. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what happened? Did you, did you see the video? Yes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're so sweet! What did 
Yes, you do. I'm going to applaud for you. Wow. You're a doll. Do you want to throw something at me? Myself. Oh. Did you want to say anything? She's bright red. Thank you. I'm glad I came down here. Did you the Jetson? Thank you. She says she loves me. Oh, Alright. Thank you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> It's now so blatantly obvious that I have a stuntman do all my things. <laughs> I'm winded, I'm like injured. <laughs> Hello. Hi, uh, I'm Vanessa. Nice Jared. to meet you. I'm a big Full House fan, and I want to know what it was like working with the Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> I never worked with the Olsen twins. <laughs> uh, I know nothing. I'm... You know what, actually, um, the Olsen twins, uh, it was really nice working with them. They are the hardest working, or they were, I don't know what it is now, but they're, they were the hardest working <laughs> girls, people I'd ever met. Like, they were the lead actresses, but they were also the producers, and like, if they weren't acting, they were going and doing casting, and like, doing rewrites, and doing wardrobe fittings, and so, um, it was interesting. I, I, I learned a lot. I learned that they didn't get there by an accident, you know? Like, um, they worked very, very hard. And I also learned that I don't want to be that famous. We were shooting in Times Square, and um, they just got heckled so much. And they were, you know, I think I guess they were 17 at the time because people would come by wearing the shirts like 30 days till they're 18, you know. And they just kind of like it was so sad. Yeah. Um, not like I pity them or anything, but um, <laughs> they were very, very in the public eye. So I, I, I felt for them, you know, for the lack of anonymity. But it was nice. It was a learning experience. Thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> Hi. Um, I was just wondering, was there any specific time where you knew that you wanted to become an actor? Like, was there a specific time? Um, was there any movie or anything that inspired you that you wanted to follow? You, you know what? When I was a kid, um, I guess when I was a kid, when I was whatever age I was, like eight or nine, I wanted to be on Home Improvement. <laughs> I think I had a crush on a girl that had like a JTT folder. I was like, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> so, I have a vendetta against him now. I ran into an audition, like, first first month I was in LA. I was kind of like, I'm bigger than he is. <laughs> and he was sitting there, and so I don't know. You know, all the girls, I think it was when I kind of, you know, whatever age boys are when they start getting crushes. So I liked this girl, and she had like, JTT, I love JTT. So, um, probably then. But then I, I actually started acting, and I loved acting, so, and I still love acting, and so here I am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Of course. Thanks for not talking about the Olsen twins. <laughs> Hi, Jared. Hi. Hi. Um, Hi. <laughs> I think we've gone over this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, look at feisty crowd shows up in Chicago. <laughs> Thank you. Keep me in check. Um, well, oh, okay, so... <laughs> I think we've gone over that. Touche. <laughs> okay, so um, some people make a life list of things they want to do before they pass away. What would be one of your top five? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel nervous. <laughs> Wait a second. Did y'all see me scratch my nose with the mic? <laughs> <laughs> this is the one Jensen's gonna use. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Don't tell him. Ask him to smell it. You can, you can totally get your question. It's like five for five. We've gone over.
over this. Can I get my question? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Jen. I'm Jared. Um, I actually have a question about the show. Oh, All right. Okay. Um, so, you know, Sam's season is pretty impressive. It's got to say. Um, the thing that impressed me even more, though, about the, than, like, the hand of the cat thing. The, the which? The hand of the cat. Have you heard the hand over the back? No, no, no. Can you hold your hand out? Phantom calling it your hand of the cat. Hand of the cat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kick me on my back. <laughs> how, how do you spell it? Who do you spell it? Yeah. Is that like German? <laughs> Where are my hamburgers? I did it. I, I think uh, I think as I kept on getting strangled, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do really bad acting whenever I get strangled. So by like the last time I got strangled, I was like, oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> I, can't I think maybe they took the hint. But it's nice. The worst part about getting strangled, besides the fact that I got strangled a lot, was ADRing it. You're sitting there in front of a microphone, and I don't know if y'all have ever been sitting down and done like heavy breathing. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> For those of you uh, who don't are familiar with ADR, you have to kind of, you know, and, and make all the noises and, and voice over yourself. And you get so into it, and sitting down, you get lightheaded. And so I'd be sitting down the truck, and I'd be like, give me a second. And so I'd have to, like, do several takes. I, was, I always dreaded that. But um, I'm glad I can Ipecac. <laughs> I learned something new about the show today. Y'all just taught me something. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take back, the, back up to Vancouver. Back that back. That made sense. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now that it's canon that Sam's a necrophiliac, do you think you'll like it? I'm going to get to the back. 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 My question is, do you think you'll get back together with Jess? Um. Well. Your girlfriend is dead. No. <laughs> that was that was that was a different Sam. That was Sam that was obviously very hurt by his brother and he's moved on. Drunk and he's moved on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I've learned that I can hit the cat and that I'm in a <laughs> I'm just like saving it in my Sam database so that I can use it on Monday tomorrow. What's going on, man? Hi, I'm Josh. Pleasure to meet you. Jared. Hey, pleasure. Michelle. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks, man. One of my favorite episodes is when you guys go to cover at the carnival. I was just wondering, did Sam really have a thing for the bearded lady? <laughs> this, is, this is last year, right? The episode two, Kids Are All Right, I think, or which one was oh, it? Oh, it's not right. Season two. Oh, that's right. The season Kong, two. Killer Kong episode. episode. That's right. I, I did not have a thing for the bearded lady. Um, that was Jensen in real life. Uh, so Sam only likes dead chicks. Uh, so she wasn't dead enough for him. That's what I think. Uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bearded lady, hippocac, necrophilia. Like a song, or like a haiku or something. Um, very humorous episodes where you had to play straight man. Hopefully on purpose. <laughs> well, yes, they were. I'm sure they were on purpose. But you had to play straight man. And and in one scene in Yellow Fever, when Jensen's holding 
the <laughs> flashlight, it looks like you're losing so it. <laughs> How hard is it to play straight man, especially in the face of those outrageous lines that you're fed by your partner? It's, it's really hard. Um, I, unfortunately, I think as great as Jensen is in the episodes, you don't see how great he really is because those takes I'm laughing during. So, however funny he is, he's actually funnier. I'm just ruining it. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, and so, I mean, you can hear me in the Eye of the Tiger video because I'm mic'd, so you can hear me like cracking up. Um, it's really tough, and I think um, it just takes a good director to be like, listen, you know, we need you to kind of s stick it together. And the, the cat scene where the cat runs out of the water, <laughs> we actually, because they only used a short amount, but we actually um, ran it for like a minute. And so I'll have to see if y'all can ask Jensen if he can recreate it or something. <laughs> I was dying. I was dying. If they would have been rolling cameras on me while he was doing his thing, I just would have been like crying. So um, it's really tough, but it's a lot of fun. And ultimately I have to, you know, like bite my lip or bite my tongue so I don't laugh and, and ruin the take. Thank you. Thank and you. I wish you best of luck in your pursuit of Jensen. What? What pursuit of Jensen is this? Oh, well, you're just so cute on all those CW videos where you're talking about how he's interested in you. <laughs> no, no, his, he's pursuing me. I, we're not pursuing anything. Jared, you've just been had. <laughs> I need to learn that Ipecac thing. <laughs> How are you? Oh, great. How are you today? Good. Good. Fantastic. I had the great honor once of interviewing Sarah Gamble. Ooh. And um, there was a question that I asked her about you that she couldn't answer. So apparently I have to ask you myself. Okay. Um, given her penchant in the scripts for putting Sam through a horrible torture and angst and everything, do you cringe every time you see her name on a script? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> It usually means I'm getting naked. Or crying. Or getting naked and crying. <laughs> start at step one, repeat the process. No, start at step um, Yeah, it's one of those things that when I know she's written an episode, um, she's, she is a great writer, but she really understands the character of Sam. And she really, really vibes with Sam. Um, and so I know that she's going to give me some amazing stuff. And after I did this episode that y'all just saw, number nine, I was like, ugh, breath of fresh air because I was done. But meanwhile, you're really proud of yourself. It's like if you're about to go for a run or something, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to. And when you're done, you're like, ah, oh, I feel so good about that. And so uh, it's, it's, when I see her episodes are coming up, I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to be sleeping a lot. Um, so I'm going to be working hard. But then I'm always happy with the end result. I was really happy with that episode. So, yeah. I thought episode nine would be best. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? Good, how are you? Always good. Um, I just wanted to say that I think The Christmas Cottage is a wonderful film. And, oh, wow. Thank and, you. And the scenes that you had with Peter O'Toole are just amazing. And really? I just wondered if you had an occasion or occasions to talk to him about acting in life. I did. The, I, the way that Glenn and Tom talked about art in life and what whiz, words of wisdom or advice he had for you. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, that's actually one of my favorite stories to kind of talk about. He and I bonded great during the film, greatly bonded very well during the film. And it's so funny because life does imitate art. For those who haven't seen it, myself included, um, <laughs> There's a lot of scenes where, where Peter O'Toole plays basically my mentor. And he would take me to his trailer and we would just talk and talk about like Lawrence of Arabia. And he was talking about uh, when he was shooting it, uh, I guess the, the, the foxtrot dance or something had been invented. No, the shake, the shake, the twist, the twist. The twist had just been invented, but they didn't have video of it. So there were just pictures of people like doing this. And so he was showing me what he thought the twist was. Like, and so they, they would think the twist was like jumping around like that or something. And so he's getting up and like jumping around, like this is Peter O'Toole, like jumping around in the trailer. But he did teach me a lot, and I think I learned a lot. Um, unfortunately, the main thing he told me was important was preparation. And so what's funny is that, you know, um, in TV, uh, I shoot most things the day I read them. Um, so you kind of can't prepare because you don't get the scripts at the last second. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm really excited about the movie.
Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. <coughs> Hi. Hi. If you could eliminate one character on the show, who Damn. would it be? <laughs> Sam. Sam. If I could eliminate one character on the show, that's a good question. Um, if I could eliminate one character on the show, it'd have to be someone who like beats me up all the time or something. Lilith. Lilith. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 but Lilith, she brings such a good um, dynamic to the show. It's kind of a creepy little girl, like getting really angry and then smiling. Kind of scares me. Um, you know what? I, I don't think I, I would. I, I actually get mad when I kill people. Like every time we kill a demon or kill a character, I'm like, ah, oh, we could have done so much more. And I'm not the writer, so what I think doesn't matter. But um, I don't think I'd eliminate anybody. Or if there is, I, I, I can't think of it right now. I think it's just I think it's nice to see how everything plays out. You know, like, I wish we still had Dad around. Yeah. We him off. Uh, I wish we still had the yellow eyed demon around. I mean, yeah, that was a fun Azazel. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Darren. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm a really big Bon Jovi fan, and I was wondering awesome. if you got to work with him in Cry Wolf. I, I did. I didn't have any scenes with him, but I got to go out and um, and hang out and drink and talk about how much of a rock star he was. Bon Jovi, for, for those who are interested and also fans, is awesome. <laughs> awesome, like laid back. We were at the bar. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I was wondering no. if you and Jensen are actually fans since they get mentioned. Yeah, in the absolutely. Yeah, I, I think I have every album of his on my iPod. Um, and we are fans. And I'm especially, I was a fan already, and I'm really a fan after having met him and worked with him because he's just like sitting there, you know, drinking a beer in a bar in Richmond, Virginia. Not like Entourage, no nothing. Just Bon Jovi. Like, uh, there's John Bon Jovi. Uh, there he still is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have a lot of respect for him. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna answer this next one this way because I think I, I think I've changed my profile. Hi, Jared. My name's Marty. Jared. <laughs> Hi, Marty. Um, I was wondering, in your uh, future of acting, is there any actors that you really admire that you'd like to work with? Actress. A actor or actor? Did you say actors or actress? Either one. Oh yeah, uh, well, tons. Uh, I mean, I've always said that I, I love Johnny Depp's work. Um, I think he, he brings a really interesting dy dynamic to all his characters. Yeah, he's uh, incredible. And one that I always forget about, but that I love to work with, is Gary Oldman. Do you want Gary Oldman? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, you go back and you watch like, True Romance, and you're like, oh yeah, Drexel, he's so good. Yeah. So, um, I'd love to work with either of those two actors. I think those are the first ones. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Again. Again. My name is Lacey. I'm Jim. Uh, I was curious. I just watched the last episode right before I flew over here. And... Uh, I was very, I wasn't surprised about what happened with Ruby. Um, I was what are you talking about? I was not disappointed at all. Uh, you were not disappointed. Very excited about it. Okay. <laughs> As was Sam. I'm Tiffany or what? I'm wondering how you feel about the whole Ruby and Sam scenario. What do you mean? What, what, what scenario do you mean? Uh, you mean what? Sam and Ruby? And the body. Uh, relations. Relations. That's good. Uh, I am the relations. Okay. Uh, I, I think uh, I, I actually, I like it. Uh, <laughs> I love this piece of Chair? No. Be you. 
No. It's all right. Uh, I'm going to, uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Give me. That chair looks really nice. <laughs> I gotta figure something out of my luggage real fast. You know, I'll finish this question real fast, just I think it's an interesting one. She was asking, what do I think about Sam and Rudy? Oh, please, by all means. Uh, <laughs> I think it's important for the story. Where'd she go? Okay, I think it's important for the story, and I think I think we all knew it was going there. And I think it's, um, I love that Kripke gets stuff done. He doesn't just dance around it. Um, and I think it shows how how messed up Sam is at his, at his brother's loss. Or, because of his, the loss of his brother. Like this. 